Today, we're diving into a comparison of two of the most popular software options for small businesses, FreshBooks and Wave. If you're a freelancer, a small business owner, or just someone looking to streamline their accounting process, then this video is for you. We'll break down the features, pros, and cons, and ultimately help you decide which is best and fits your specific needs. So stick around to the end of the video because you won't want to miss it. We're also going to walk through each platform and show you how to set up an account with them. So let's get right into it and start with an overview of each platform. FreshBooks was originally started with the sole proprietor in mind. It's perfect for professional services like attorneys, architects, and designers. FreshBooks offers four different plans, which makes it scalable for growing businesses. It also has an intuitive interface, which makes it great for people new to accounting. On the other hand, Wave was created for freelancers, micro businesses, and sole proprietors. The standout feature for Wave is that its core accounting features are completely free. You only pay for additional services like Wave payments and Wave payroll. If you're planning to remain a sole proprietor, then Wave might be perfect for you. Now that we understand a little bit about each software, let's go over some pricing information for both of them. Let's start with FreshBooks. FreshBooks offers four different pricing plans. The light version is going to cost you $7.60 per month, and that's going to allow you to send unlimited invoices to up to five clients. Their next plan is the Plus plan at $13.20 per month, and this plan allows you to send unlimited invoices to up to 50 clients. It also has some other features like running financial and accounting reports, as well as sending unlimited estimates estimates and proposals. Now the premium plan is going to cost you $24 per month, but this plan allows you to send unlimited invoices to an unlimited number of clients. It also has some other neat tools that allow you to track profitability and customize some email templates. Now, if none of these plans work for you, they have the let's talk plan. These are obviously going to be for larger enterprises. And if you use the link down below in the description to sign up for FreshBooks, you actually get 60% off for your first four months. Now let's talk about Wave. Now what's great about Wave is that their starter plan, like we said earlier, is free and this gives you all the accounting basics. This allows you to create unlimited invoices, estimates, bills, and bookkeeping records. You can also accept online payments. You can do invoices on the go in their app, and you can manage cash flow and customers in one dashboard. Now, both of these plans accept online payments, but there is a fee for each of them. For the starter plan, the fee is 2.9% plus 60 cents per credit card transaction. For the pro plan, the transaction fee is 2.9% per transaction. And then that 60 cent fee is wiped for the first 10 transaction of each month. There's also optional add-ons that you can include for each of these plans. So for the starter plan for $8 per month or for $72 per year, you can digitally capture unlimited receipts. In the pro plan, this is already included. And then starting at $20 per month, you can run payroll as an add-on to your starter plan. And it's the same price for the pro plan. And then starting at $149 per month, you can hire a bookkeeper for both of these plans. Now that we've talked a little bit about pricing, let's talk about user interface and usability. FreshBooks, as we'll show you later, is extremely easy to use and very intuitive. This is why it's really one of the best options for people new to accounting because of how easy it is to use. Wave, however, is also known for its clean and intuitive design. The interface is easy to navigate and it's great for non-accountants as well. It also provides you helpful guidance through the app, which is excellent for small business owners or freelancers without any accounting background. Now let's talk about invoicing. FreshBooks has customizable invoicing options. You can also add new customers while preparing invoices. It supports recurring invoices and expenses as well. And you can send reminders for overdue invoices as well as add late fees. FreshBooks also allows for the acceptance of credit cards and ACH transfers. Now let's talk about Waves invoicing. It also has a quick and easy invoice creation tool. You'll also receive notifications for viewed or paid invoices. Their mobile app actually supports invoice creation and sending. However, it does lack a quick way to record check payments. And it's really designed primarily for online payments. Now let's talk about expense tracking. In FreshBooks, you can mark expenses as billable and charge them back to the clients. FreshBooks also has automatic automatic import of transactions from bank accounts. And it also supports inventory management as well. On the other hand, Wave connects to financial institutions for automatic transaction import, but it has limited inventory management when compared to FreshBooks. Now, in terms of payment processing, FreshBooks allows for credit cards and ACH transfers. Wave also supports online payment acceptance, but charges fees for payment processing services. In terms of payroll, a neat thing about FreshBooks is that it seamlessly integrates with Gusto for payroll services. Wave, on the other hand, only offers full payroll tax services in a few states. And users in other states that Wave does not work in must file taxes themselves. In terms of integration, FreshBooks connects with over 200 apps directly. Some of these include Gusto, Stripe, and Basecamp. And then FreshBooks also connects with over 1,500 apps using Zapier. Wave also has direct integration with a couple apps. These include Etsy, PayPal, and a couple others. And then Wave also connects with over 1,000 apps using Zapier. In terms of reporting, FreshBooks offers 14 standard reports with limited 
customization. Wave, on the other hand, includes 12 standard reports with limited customization capability. If neither FreshBooks or Wave seems like the right fit because they don't have the features that you might need, you also might consider some of these options as alternatives. QuickBooks is another great option with robust features, even though it comes at a higher price. And Zero is also a strong contender, especially for businesses needing extensive integrations and scalability. All right, before we tell you which platform is better, we're going to set up an account with both FreshBooks and Wave so you can see the signup process. So we'll leave both of the links down below in the description. Be sure to click on those and we can kind of walk through this process here together. We're going to start out here by creating our account with FreshBooks. If you click on that link down below, you should see something like this and you'll see that for the first four months, you get 60% off with our special link. If you're ready to get this deal, you can go ahead and click buy now and save, or you can also try it out for free up in the right hand corner. Now we'll just show you how to buy now and save. As you can see, it'll bring us to the plans here and you can choose between the light plus and premium like we talked about earlier. Let's just go ahead and start with this light version now, which is $7.60 per month. Once you've done that, go ahead and enter your email here and a password as well. And then you can go ahead and click get started. And then it'll bring you back to this page and you can just save 10% if you choose to subscribe yearly. But we'll just go ahead and continue with the monthly option here and choose the $7.60 light plan. Next, it'll bring you to your team and you can just add and remove team members here. Let's just go ahead and continue after that and press review and pay. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and enter our credit card information and our billing address. All right. And once you've done that, it's that easy. All you have to do is click pay now and you'll have your account set up. Now that we've showed you how to sign up for your FreshBooks account, let's show you how to sign up with Wave. So go ahead and click on that link down below and we'll join up here together. Once you've clicked on that link down below, it should bring you to a page that looks similar to this. Now we'll go ahead and click sign up in the top right hand corner here and we'll go ahead and enter our email and our password and you can see that Wave is free. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and click get started. And then it's just going to ask us a series of questions about our name and business. Let's go ahead and fill that information in now. Once we've filled all that information in, let's go ahead and click next. Then we just have to answer a couple more questions about our business. So let's just answer when we started our business and how many customers we have. And then it just asks us if we currently accept payment online. And once we're finished with that, we can click next. Now it just asks us what we would like to do with Wave. We can just go ahead and answer this or say not sure yet. And then lastly, it'll bring us to this page here where we have to choose the plan that best fits us. So you can continue with the starter or we'll also show you how to upgrade to the pro. So just go ahead and click that and then it'll bring up this page here and you can just go proceed to check out. Once you've done that, just go ahead and enter your first and last name and email. And then it'll ask you to add your business address. And then it'll ask you to add some payment information here. And then finally, it'll give you a review of your order here. And all you have to do is press pay to subscribe. And that's how you set up your account with Wave. Now that you know everything about both platforms and you've seen how to create an account for each of them, which one is better, FreshBooks or Wave? Now it really depends on your specific needs. If you're looking for a cost-effective solution that has the essential features, but has some limitations, Wave is going to be a fantastic option for you, especially if you're a sole proprietor or freelancer. However, if you need more advanced features, better scalability, and are willing to invest a little bit more, then FreshBooks is going to be the way to go. That's all we have for you today of FreshBooks versus Wave. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. This channel is really dedicated to helping business owners and entrepreneurs like yourself with free videos and tutorials like this one. We're going to leave links to both FreshBooks and Wave down below in the description, so be sure to check out those links. And just know if you do use our links, we will get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep creating free content like this for you. So thank you so much in advance for using those links. With that said, thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your entrepreneurship journey, and we will see you in the next video.